We're sitting down with Broncos general manager, George Payton. George, uh, the players reporting back today. You feel the buzz in the building. What makes you excited about this team? You know, you're always excited this time of year. You know, there's, there's buzz, there's optimism, um, but I just like the way this team goes about it and they work. And I thought we had a really good off season. You know, I think we had 99% attendance rate. And, and uh, so you mix the new with the old and it all comes together. And, and now, the, now we just take the next step. So I really like this football team. I like our depth and uh, you know, they want to win and, and they'll embrace the process of winning. There is a lot of buzz around the whole city, not just in the building, particularly because of one guy, Russell Wilson. How do you approach things with him? Do you say, hey, don't put too much pressure on yourself. You know, you're in a new place. You, you got something that you want to prove. Do you tell him, hey, just play your game? You know, Russell's been in this league 10 years. I don't, I mean, we have really good talks. I don't really need to tell him, you know, how to approach it. He's a pro. Um, you know, he's obsessed with winning. He, you know, he doesn't, he's been through everything, a lot of pressure situations. So, you know, not much I need to tell him. He is obsessed with winning, huh? Have you been around a guy like that? Uh, no, I've never been around anyone like him. You know, from the, the moment he wakes up until, you know, when he goes to bed, which is often late, you know, as, as you can see by some of my texts. But um, it's refreshing to have, some, you know, your best player, uh, a guy that uh, is obsessed and, and loves uh, the process of winning, like we talked about. I mean, he named his kid Win. That's pretty big. That's a good sign, huh, Phil? Uh, yeah. Uh, last year, of course, we had in the camp, there's a quarterback competition. Yeah. This year, Russ, obviously the guy. How does that change just the mindset, just knowing that, hey, this guy's our leader? No, it's great. And from the minute he stepped in the door, he's our leader. And uh, I think that's great for your team. The team rallies around him. And, and like I said, when, you're, when your leader is your best player, you know, it really helps your football team. For you, the next couple of weeks here at training camp preseason, how do you spend this next month? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 we're evaluating our team every day, and, and then we'll get into the preseason games and you evaluate your team throughout those games, and and it's just a process, and you're always evaluating the wires of other teams and who they release, and if we can upgrade our team, and you know the bottom five, bottom ten, so you're always looking to upgrade, Phil, and, and team building never stops. There's competition all across the board, of course, but are there any positions that you're keeping an extra eye on? You know, Phil, I, I really like the depth of this football team. I think we're going to have great competition at all the positions. So I'm excited, really, uh, for all the positions, the competition we're going to have. And Coach Hackett always pre preaches competition. And again, we're going to have a lot of good battles. Now, the last one here for you, George, uh, Nathaniel Hackett. It's going to be his first uh, training camp here as a head coach. Yes. How do you be a resource for him? You know, we speak every day, we collaborate every day, and uh, we have a great synergy with each other. I'm there for him, he's there for me. Um, talk players, talk scheme, you name it. Uh, but we're gonna be a resource for each other. He grew up going to camps. I mean, yeah, this, this is his old hat for him. And, and when he was going to camps, when he grew up, shoot, they had two or three practices a day. So this is <laughs> this is nothing for him, right? Yeah, 100 degree weather, who cares? Yeah, this is nice. It's about 65 right now. <laughs> yeah, anyway. exactly. If it stays like this, we'll be all right. We'll be in good shape. All right, George, appreciate your yeah, time. Appreciate Looking forward you, to it. Thank you very much.